everything the Eric. Mom is not what we thought. Katy, could you stop dancing just for a second and come here? Sure, just give me a second. Hurry up, please. What's up, Chris? The grandmother came just a minute ago and she told me that we were doing too much noise today. She won't feed us in three days. Again. No way! How do we going to feel little Curry and Cory? Our backup food is over. I don't know, but Cory cannot be without food too much more. He is really sick. I know, but where is our mother? She has not been here in more than two months. Since the first day she brought us to this horrible place, she promised to visit us every single day. She's just a liar. Daddy, don't talk like that about our mother. Oh my god, Christopher. There have been two months since the last time we saw her. Do you think she is still loving us? Do you think that she worries about how we are? I bet you that she doesn't even remember she has sons. Sure she thinks about us every single day, but she's still worried with the school and all that stuff that she doesn't have time to come with us. I'm pretty sure that she never went to school, she's very lazy for even take a pencil, that's why she brought us here, she didn't want to work, her father gave them everything she could wish, after he died her only option in order to survive was to begin working, but she found another way. Shut up, Katy. No, Chris. You know that what I said is true. She preferred to hide her children in an attic in order to wait the death of an old man in order for her to receive an inheritance of millions of dollars that will last almost forever. I'm sure the grandfather is going to die soon. Be patient. I have been waiting for two years. How much more I have to wait? That man seems to be immortal. Trust her mother. She is our mother. She will never lie to us. She said we will be here just for one or two months. She said the doctor told them the grandfather will die in less than a month. Just one month more, Katie, please. I would rather prefer to be outside this attic right now than have all the money I could imagine in my life. It's just a month, Katie, please. It is not only me, Chris. Little twins are also really desperate. They ask every day about their mother. For them, their mother doesn't exist anymore. I know, but she is busy. And I'm sure she doesn't even know that the grandmother has left us without food more than once. Please, Cari, when she comes, we will talk to her. And if she never comes, are you sure she will come? She will. I hope.